Go tell us if there's any crocodiles in there. See ya. I don't think there's any crocodiles. Hey guys, did you know that we're now doing stubby coolers and stickers? So if you want to help the channel, jump over to our Facebook page or Instagram page and send us a message. Cheers for that. So we've made it through to Normanton. Uh, it turns out that from Leichhardt Falls, it was only like 70 k's worth of dirt road. And then from the rest of the way to Normanton, it was only, it was just all bitumen. So that was probably about another 70, 80 k's of just bitumen through. So it wasn't too bad at all. So the dirt road was really good, well maintained, um, quite an easy road. So that was good. So we've come into Normanton and we're stopping quickly just to see Chris the big crocodile <laughs> um, so we'll just jump out here stretch our legs and check out Chris hello <laughs> So, this is the Savannah King, 8.63 meters, the largest ever captured in the world. It's pretty impressive. I don't think I'd like to come across him in the middle of the night. Let's go. How cool is that? They're your neighbours. Back of the fence. Every afternoon they come down here. 
obviously they get fed or something, but how cool is that? And there's a hole down here too, I think they climb through. So put your rubbish away at, at your campsite. What's that, Skip? Timmy's trapped down a well. Alrighty, so today we've come out to the um, Barramundi Discovery Centre. Now this is completely free to enter. Um, it's got the Kurumba Visitor Centre here as well. Um, and you can go around and see how they are breeding barramundi out here. And you can also take a tour as well, which um, costs money. So today we're just gonna go and have a look at the Discovery Centre. You can see um, lots of little barramundi where they're farming them. Um, there's videos on the process of it and about Kurumba. Um, and it just, yeah, it's a good little way just to check out what's in the area and how things are done around here. So we're going to pop in inside and see what we can find. Shit, where are the kids? <laughs> Left them. <laughs> Karamba. <laughs> totally. Alright. Mind that. So, we have had our little stopover in Karamba. It was quite relaxing for a few days. Yeah, it? it's a good little place just to chill out. And eat some good seafood. Eat some good seafood, yeah, yeah. definitely. If you go there, go to pubs Ashes. and the and the little cafes because they have all fresh seafood and it's beautiful yeah. so I can't catch barramundi to save myself so we just got it yeah. the old fashioned way. We had fish and chips at Ashes last night yeah. and it was absolutely the best fish and chips I think we've had yeah, that I can there. think of anyway. Top two. Yeah definitely don't know what the other one is but definitely <laughs> anyway um, so yeah it was quite relaxing there we stayed at the Sunset Caravan Park which was lovely yeah. um, no complaints with that had dinner at the pub, watched the sunset there, just chilled out. Yeah. It was great, wasn't it? Ideally, out the town. Yeah, ideally if you had a boat would be the way to go because yeah. there's lots of little inlets and river systems and that sort of stuff. So yeah. um, couldn't really utilise it fully, but great little town. Yeah. And it's got that barra farm that we went and had a look at and that's really interesting. The discovery Centre. Yeah, the Discovery yeah. Centre, so check yeah. that out as well. But yeah. Had a good time. Yeah. So today we've done a bit of a longer drive. Um, we're heading towards Cobalt Gorge. So that's about 430 k's or so from Karumba. Um, so we just left early this morning and heading this way. Uh, it's all bitumen until you get to Georgetown. Then you head south towards Forsyth and you're kind of on and off bitumen gravel road. 
um, and then the last 45 k's or so is mainly all dirt road and it's quite windy dirt road yeah. um, so a bit slower but it's all been fine we haven't had to put tire pressures down or anything like that um, so yeah so we're heading out here for two nights um, we're going on a, a little boat tour of the gorge and we're just gonna hang out and check it out we're just staying on an unpowered site. They've got um, limited powered sites. There wasn't any available, so we just got an unpowered site. Um, there is a restaurant out here. You can do like food packages and have all your food taken care of and everything whilst you're out here. Um, there's a bar, all the usual caravan services, so caravan park services. So we will see what it's like when we get there. Yeah. So while you're here at the gorge, you can go in a helicopter ride and go check it out. So I can hear it coming back now. Um, be pretty cool to check the gorge out from the above. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go check it out. also go kayaking in the dam here um, and I don't know if you can see there's a square out there and you can hire um, floatable golf balls floating golf balls and sit up here and try and hit them in but I think they're five bucks a ball um, and they float so obviously you hit them out and then if you miss you got to go and get it out with the kayak and come back and try again so a little bit of fun or if you've got the kids out there you might be able to just hit them out there hopefully they don't hit them Big. Go tell us if there are any crocodiles in there. See ya. I don't think there's any crocodiles. Especially mummy. Oh, yes. Matt, look at her <laughs> Good practice shot. Good practice shot. Whoa. Oh, you hit the anthill. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Oh, shot! Oh! There's one behind us. Come on, shot! Close. See it? Oh, shanked it. Right, well, she superimposed that one to look good. Yeah, my turn. So we worked out why it's called Quartz Blow Hole or whatever it's called. What's it called? Quartz Blow. Yeah. There's a big old wad of quartz. Looks like it's blown out of the ground. We're just going to climb to the top, have a bit of a look. Set up the chairs. Have a relax. How good is that?
All right. So today we are off to the Cobalt Gorge tour, which is what we've come here for. So everyone's super excited. Um, basically what you do is you meet down at the reception and you go on a little bus over to the gorge. Then you head out on a little boat that takes you through the gorge. It's really narrow, so it's a tiny little skinny boat. Um, and then there's a walking element as well where you walk up and you can go over the glass um, footbridge. So we're really excited about this. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Um, do note that you can't come to Cobalt Gorge without going on a tour. So you can't actually access the gorge on your own privately. You have to actually go on one of these tours to be able to access the gorge. So I reckon that's probably tricked a few people over yeah, the time. Yeah, so they probably pulled in and then gone, oh, they're all booked out. Yeah, oh, geez. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still a nice place to stay, but you're here yeah, to see the gorge. You exactly. need to go over the glass bridge. So. That's right. So do be aware of that and do make sure that you pre-book your tour because like we're seven and there's only 10 on a boat. So if you've got big groups that come along and they're yeah. pretty much booking out the whole boats, you are going to miss out. Yeah. So, Anyway. Do make sure that you are prepared for this one. Mm. So we are, and we're looking forward to it. So let's get on and we'll let's get do it. cranking down the gorge. <laughs> Oh, your backseat bandits. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. We meant to be. Definitely very cool. Um, you got to wear some awesome booties too. We're meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. You and me, meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. A bit of a unique tour going on here today. Um, this is what happens when you use manpower to get yourself up and down the gorge. Um, unfortunately, out of two motors, oops, both of them have died. <laughs> Steering's resulted to a stick and pushing off the gorge walls.
<laughs> we survived. <laughs> That's interesting, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> I hadn't resorted to cannibalism yet. <laughs> oh dear. Well, sometimes things are good when they work, and then sometimes anyway. they don't work. Yeah, it was a good tour. Made, yeah. made it better. It made it um, crowd interactive. Very interactive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're back to the bus now and back to camp. Hey, you three, what are you doing in there? Uh, I'm driving the bus with my seatbelt. I, I hope you're not driving the bus. Don't move one. Yes, she's wrong. It'll be a problem. <laughs>